So the biggest life hack I've ever like discovered in my life, aside from like working out and self-improvement in general and like not using plastic, is sauna. Going to the sauna will increase your productivity levels, your testosterone levels, your, your income levels. Therefore, like if you're having a, a high leverage job or, or, or entrepreneur career, it will literally like increase your, your wages so you get paid for going to the sauna basically. And testosterone wise, it will increase your testosterone by easily like 200 nanograms per deciliter, which is a significant difference between not having that and having that like for 10 minutes, 15 minutes of effort a day. And the practical advice that I want to jump in today is that you should go to the sauna at least five times a week at like 90 to 100 degrees in the sauna. Um, it's, it's like good in that range. If it's below that, like try to get it hotter with some fucking um, water, like pouring it on the oven or what's like in there. I don't know what's exactly there, but it, you, you get it like with a little fucking spoon and then you put it on the fucking boiler and then it gets warmer and get it up to like at least a 90, 90 degrees Celsius. Um, yeah, you'll have to calculate that into Fahrenheit because it's not exactly the same. It's like a uh, hundred and something Fahrenheit, right? Um, but just do it like this for one time a day and then like five times a week, three times a week, four times a week, as much as you can. If you can go seven days, go for seven days. Don't worry about fluid in your fucking body. The only thing that's spitting sweated like out in like those 10 to 15 minutes is going to be like the, the, the dangerous water, the chemicals that you take in over the day, the estrogenics, right? That's going to be the thing that you like put out of your body. Of course, after that, we're going to lose like massive and massive amounts of like real water, of the good water that we want in our body. Right? The water with, with like just the pure water in there, right? The good one. But what we get out of our body are bad chemicals, estrogenics, and a bunch of other stuff, like fucking microplastic in your body, heavy metals in your body, like not like those, those fucking guys with the fucking weird heads and fucking guitars, but like literally like metal in your body will get out of your body just by being in a sauna for 15 minutes, right? This will increase testosterone levels, like I just told you before. This will increase the testosterone levels, which will increase your productivity, which will, in a high leverage business in which you should be, increase your money that you have, which will then increase the freedom that you have, which will then increase your masculinity. So going to the sauna will literally make you more masculine, if you understood this. Right? My personal story with the sauna is in my gym, there's like a little, a little, here's like the cabins where you like can dress. And then there's like a sign with sauna on there. And I went in there and I saw a bunch of naked dudes, right? And I thought like, do I want to do this? Like, th this seems kind of fucking silly. And even if it seems kind of silly to you, if you're not like in a gay sauna, of course, um, then then do it, right? Go there. It, nothing will fucking happen. What, what do you think people will do? Do you think people will walk up to you and fucking rape you? Probably not. Right, that's that's probably not gonna fucking happen. Okay, you'll maybe get a weird look if you look if you look like me, like very very defined, like from from my muscles, right? Because there are mostly like gonna be old people because, like they see, okay, it's very healthy and I'm old, so I don't want to die early. But we as young people should do this too, because if you are young, and you want to increase your lifespan right now. For a drastically higher amount than you would do when you're like in your in your 80s or something, right? Then you should definitely do it, right? It will make your life better and longer. So what the fuck does this hold you back? Even if you have to pay a little fee, like 15 bucks a month, what the fuck is that? For fucking perfect testosterone levels, optimized performance, better muscle recovery, and better muscle growth. Like literally, muscle getting bigger and more defined, right? I'm having better definition than all the other guys in my gym. Like literally, all of them. I'm more lean than them and I'm also like stronger than them. So I have more muscle mass and more lean muscle mass. Just because I go to the sauna, I see no other difference other than like self-improvement and higher testosterone through, through like not using plastics that much. 
But these two things, like not using plastics and going to the sauna, are increasing your testosterone by fucking 100%. And even if it's only 5%, those 5%, as you see on me, matter. I told you in the, in the success, like how to reach success or how to reach a goal video, if you have the chance to get like another 1% in growth through some activity you can do while doing anything, everything else, then you should do it. Because those 1%, this, this is, these 5%, those 1%, they might be the difference between you and the opponent you'll have to face one day. One day we have to face an opponent, either in business or in your, in your sports career or in something. In dating game, something. Just look for something and you will find a way in which a competitor could occur. And wouldn't it be better if you had all your potential in that fucking moment where that opponent appeared right in front of you? Right? There are a bunch of things that you can do in alternative to the sauna, but nothing really compares to the sauna, right? You can try training with a hoodie and with like a bunch of clothes on you so you get proper sweaty. And it's actually better if you get like the same amount of, of like degrees, like in heat below it. If you can generate that, that's really good because then the muscles are contracting, you're building muscle and you're not like spending 10 minutes with something, right? So you're spending less time with that. And I would recommend just doing both, right? Just make sure that your hoodies are made of 100% cotton, 100%. It's even better if it's organic, if it's organic right? So 100% at best organic cotton and just train with that because if there's polyester under it, you really get like more chemicals in than you get out. And then you have to go to the sauna to get them out again. So it doesn't really make sense. Train with a 100% cotton uh, t-shirt and in general fucking clothes, of course. You should wear this like 100% of the time um, as you like go through your daily life. But especially in the gym, when you're heating up your body, when those chemicals move faster, they can move like under your skin and do a bunch of damage to your testosterone levels, to your hormone levels and to your blood levels as well, right? So just do both. Train with 100% cotton um, fleece or fucking long sleeve on or, or, a, or a hoodie, right? And then go to the sauna to sweat even more. So sweat as much as you can and then drink for like six liters, right? Most people will say, oh, that's dangerous. That's too much. Then drink five liters, okay? I don't care. I drink like five to six liters every single day because I have this intense bringing good water in and bringing the bad water out. And of course, over time, the bad water will like reduce and the good water will, will become more because you're getting all of the bad water out like every single day and your body gets more resistant to it and gets more used to like putting it out faster. So over time, you'll also have to, you'll, you'll have to go like more to the sauna to get like the, the, the testosterone increase, but you'll have to go less to the sauna to get the bad shit out of your body, right? So to get the increase, you need to like sort of like progressively overload on this on going to the sauna but you should definitely memorize that like your body is getting used to things constantly to sunlight to testosterone everything even to the sauna even to heat you have to understand two things about the sauna first of all you need to understand about your core which is inside of your body and your shell your shell adapts to heat very fast by the time i told you about all of this, like made this video, it's probably like five to six minutes now. I can't see it because like the camera is facing to me and the screen is facing like away from me. Um, um, my, my, my shell has cooled down to like the temperature, which is like in this environment, which is probably like, like 20 something, 17 something degrees Celsius. But my core is still at the same like hotness because my core doesn't regulate that fast. Okay, my core is like probably at like 36 degrees Celsius. That's like the, your, your core temperature, which it should be. And by heating up the shell, you will get your body used to adapting to like, to, to, to like your, your condition, which is outside of you faster, which will then spike your POA. And POA is a region in your, in your frontal lobe, in your brain. And the telomus kind of, I don't know what the, where the fuck that is, right? 
but it's a region in your brain which will basically alter your thoughts and decisions in a way in which like it will regulate your body heat. Isn't that crazy? That neurobiology will literally tell your brain that you should get out of there and make it make sense. You know this from NoFab that at some point, at the golden point of NoFab, there is a point where your brain will make it make sense. That's the same thing as POA. POA will make it make sense to get out of the sauna. Right? POA is basically the instinct that is inside of your brain that's telling your body, hey, I'm trying to cool you down. It doesn't work because the environment is too hot and you're not getting out of there. So you better get out of there and it will make thoughts like, oh, I'll die if I'm in here and shit. Right? You'll get these primal thoughts.